हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ़ यू हैवेंट सब्सक्राइब इट येट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम हेबला स्टेटिक्स द प्रॉब्लम से इज दैट द फोर्स एफ हैज़ अ मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ एटी पाउंड्स एंड एक्ट्स एट द मिड पॉइंट सी ऑफ द थिन रॉड एक्सप्रेस द फोर्स एज अ कार्टीज एन वैक्टर सो अगेन वी नीड टू रिप्रेजेंट दिस फोर्स एज अ कार्टीज एन वैक्टर सो लेट से दैट द कार्टीज एन वैक्टर ऑफ दिस फोर्स इज इक्वल टू इट्स मैग्नीट्यूड इट्स मैग्नीट्यूड टाइम्स द यूनिट वैक्टर फ्राम सी टू ओ एंड सिमिलरली वी कैन राइट दैट इट्स मैग्नीट्यूड इज एटी पाउंड सो एटी पाउंड इन टू द पोजिशन वैक्टर फ्राम सी टू ओ डिवाइडेड बाय इट्स मैग्नीट्यूड सो नाउ वी नीड टू फाइंड द पोजिशन वैक्टर फ्राम सी टू ओ सो वी नीड टू आइडेंटिफाई द पोजिशन ऑफ पॉइंट ओ फ्राम पॉइंट सी सो वी नीड टू फाइंड द डिस्टेंस ऑफ पॉइंट ओ from c uh, along the x y and z axis so now what we can do in this particular problem is that if if i drop a perpendicular from this point c onto the x y plane and if i draw one another line which will join this a with o so if we drop a perpendicular so that perpendicular will cut this a o line into its a half as well right so this means that if we drop a perpendicular then this length let's say that this point is x so then this c x length will be 3 feet so and this will be equal to the half of since uh, this is the midpoint so if we drop a perpendicular so this length will also be the mid length of this ao and if i drop a perpendicular from this point so this length will also be Uh, 3 divided by 2 this means that this will be 1.5 and similarly if i drop a perpendicular onto this line so then this length will be 1 meters so now we can find that uh, point o we can locate that point o from this point c so if i write the position vector from c to o so to reach that point o from point c first we need to travel 3 feet in the negative k direction so i will write uh, Minus three k, and then I need to travel this much distance, and this much distance is one feet, right? So if this is, if this is one feet, then this length is also one feet, right? So we need to move one feet in the positive y direction. So I will write plus one j, and then I need to travel minus one point five feet in the uh, negative o direction. Uh, sorry, in the negative x direction. So I will write minus one point five. i so this is the position vector from c to o similarly we can find the magnitude of this position vector so we will take the squares of the components and then we will take the square root so this is uh, 1.5 square plus 1 square plus 3 square so this is 3.5 so the magnitude is 3.5 So now, if let's say this is our equation one, so we can write that the Cartesian vector representation of that force F is a t, and then the position vector, and this is the position vector which is minus one point five i plus one j minus three k, and divided by its magnitude, and the magnitude is three point five. So we can divide this a t by three point five. So a t divided by answer so this gives us 22.86 so this is 22.22.86 now if i multiply this 22.86 with each and every component so we will get the cartesian vector representation of that force f so 22.86 into 1.5 so minus 34.29 i and then 22.86 into 1 is 22.86j and then 22.86 into minus 3 minus 68.58 so this is the cartesian vector representation of that force f which is acting from c to o, c to o so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope you people would have understood 
the solution of this particular problem kindly subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet also like this video if you people want me to solve such more problems from Hebler statics